Hey Capricorns, welcome to your weekly forecast for December uh, 9th through the 15th. We're going to see what's happening for the week ahead for you with this Angel Christmas deck. Uh, we're going with a little holiday theme here. And then we're going to pull an Angel Oracle message for you um, with this deck here. Because we've got a full moon happening midweek. And this full moon, like the ones we've been having lately, the moon energies have been a bit of a doozy. So I always like to bring in some um, some soothing, you know, helpful messages when we're in those transitional or release periods. So let's jump in Capricorn and see what's happening for you all in the week ahead. Here's your Monday, Tuesday, your Wednesday, Thursday, and your Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I'm using playing cards because I could not find holiday-themed decks that I liked. Alrighty, so Capricorn, this is such a Capricorn card. I actually always think of Capricorn when I, when I see this card. Um, this would be, in traditional tarot, what we might refer to as... Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Diamonds. So this is like hard work energy. This is like really, really working hard, wanting to make something perfect, wanting to get it just right, like really carving out the details, just really perfecting something. So Monday, Tuesday, you might be going in with some really strong uh, goals around your work, what you're doing at work or what you're doing for your career or you may be starting some kind of project or business idea, and you're really giving it 100% of your attention. One piece of advice I want to give you is when you get in this energy, another message this card has is that there is such a thing as too much of a good thing. You know, uh, you know there is such a thing as too much hard work. There is such a thing as too much uh, you know, time, you know, perfecting something or too much attention to detail. Like you need to make sure you're taking breaks. It's really great that you're driven. It's really great that you feel inspired to put your energy into something, but you need to make sure you're taking breaks. You need to make sure you're stepping away and focusing on uh, resting and focusing on uh, you know, like refilling your uh, battery, recharging yourself. This is going to be super duper important. Okay. You're, you're going to work better if you're taking breaks, if you're letting yourself recharge. Um, I also think it's a really good thing that you have eight of pentacles coming up because, or eight of diamonds, the full moon that's happening in Gemini. Uh, I read that it was going to be causing, uh, people to focus on their love life or their finances and that there might be like a bit of like a panic mode around it where they're really panicked about where their love life is going or they're very panicked about where their finances are going. But the fact that you have eight of uh, diamonds coming up says that you're being optimistic. Your focus is going to be on money, Capricorn. This coming week, the full moon energies are causing you probably to be more concerned with money and career than you are with love and romance. Uh, and it's good because you're, you're very focused. Like So you're going into it with this feeling of what can I do about it? How can I make it better? And and you're you're in an optimistic, you know, area if we see eight of pentacles. The other side of the coin though is you could be working really hard and trying to do everything perfect because you have fear about, oh, I don't want to lose this job or I don't want them to be unhappy with me. You know, it's good that you're paying attention. It's good that you're working hard, but try to be out of that fear energy. You know, do it as like, this is good. This is fun. This is helping me perfect something. This is helping me become better at what I'm doing and try to take the focus on fear out of it. I hope you I hope you get what I mean by that. But your Wednesday, Thursday, you guys are really focused on on money this week. I don't know what to tell you. Scorpio was focused all on uh on on the on the hearts and you guys are focused all on the diamonds. So you've got seven 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 of diamonds you're working really super duper hard you're working crazy hard and so angels and guides are asking you to try to take a break um i feel like this is what's happening i'm going to be very honest with you capricorn the fact that these are the cards that are coming up make me feel like you're coming into the and i shuffled this deck like crazy this shuffle this deck has been shuffled a billion times but i feel like what's happening is you're starting off optimistic that i'm going to work hard i'm going to do everything great and you're kind of going backwards as you come into the middle of the week and you're like oh my goodness oh my i gotta work harder i gotta try harder it's not enough it's not enough it's not enough it's not enough and you're putting all this pressure on yourself and 
And Spirit is saying, don't do that. Don't do that. You need to step away. You need to rest. You need to reevaluate the way that you're doing things. Okay. Um, maybe some of you are putting way too much uh, pressure on yourself, which the your your goals might be a little unrealistic about how quickly you're wanting to move up or how far you're wanting to move up the career ladder or how quickly you're wanting to get work done or how quickly you're wanting for things to 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 progress or to you know produce uh, uh, fruit. Uh, seven of uh, diamonds could be asking you to take some time and reevaluate and not to put so much pressure on yourself. There's a, there, there could be some level of impatience with it. You know, you planted a seed. It takes time for the seed to grow. It's not going to be ready in a few minutes. It's not going to be ready in a couple of days. It's going to take time. You know, you don't want to rush it. You don't want to push too hard because all you could do is let the time go by. There's no way of changing the laws of physics and the law of science in that way. So be realistic with the expectations that you have of yourself, especially as we're coming into the middle of the week. Um, you know, that full moon energy, this is coming up for you in the right in, smack in the full moon energy, which is happening midweek on the 12th. So release any fears that you have, release any, uh, you know, pressure that you're putting on yourself, surrender that, surrender that to the universe. Your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday Capricorn, and we have eight of hearts. This is really interesting. Super duper interesting, Capricorn. You all are getting good news at the end of the week. And it's something that you were wanting. So if you've been working your butt off because you've been trying to earn some end of the year bonus at work or trying to land some kind of a contract or you were hoping you were going to come up with money for a certain bill or something, you're going to get it. Something is a, a promotion, a recognition, something. You're going to get it. Because for me, eight of hearts or eight of cups is like your wish is coming true. You worked super hard for something. Your wish is coming true. You're getting it. You're receiving it. But no sooner you receive it, then you start feeling, eh, <laughs> I thought I was going to be happier when this happened. Like it just, eh. I'm, I'm, eh, it's not, it's not bringing me the satisfaction I thought it was going to bring me. Okay. It doesn't mean that there's nothing on this planet that can make you happy. It doesn't mean that you're an ungrateful person. It doesn't mean any of that at all. What it means is that you thought this thing, this accomplishment was going to give you a sense of fulfillment. Like you were going to feel good about yourself when this thing happened. You were going to feel like you made it when this thing happened and you're getting it your wish is coming true your hard work is paying off but the reason why you don't feel fulfilled is because you're looking for fulfillment in something that can't fulfill you the message with eight of hearts or eight of cups is that you're kind of trying to fill a god-shaped hole okay the only thing that's going to plug it up is whatever whatever your god is you got to find what your god is okay you got to find what your zen is it can be um, a, 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 a traditional sense of God. It could be connecting with a sense of Zen, a sense of doing something of purpose or value in this life. If you don't know what God is or you don't know what your God is or you don't even know where to begin, you don't even know if there is a God, uh, my advice to you is what makes you feel like you are in the flow of love. What gives you a sense of love? And that is something you need to spend time doing, okay? Is it sitting down and playing the guitar or playing the piano? Is it listening to music? Is it drawing? Is it painting? Is it sculpting? Is it going and uh, volunteering and helping the homeless? Is it taking care of children, taking care of babies? Is it taking care of animals? Is it being in nature, what is it that brings you to your Zen? That's what you need to start incorporating. And from there, I promise you it will open up. I promise you it will open up. Um, and you will begin having a stronger connection to the higher self, to the higher power, to the universe, to the life force that flows through all of us. Okay, that's how it's going to start. That's how the connection is going to start. Okay, my dears, let's go ahead and check out your angel message for the week.
What is the angel message for Capricorn for the week ahead? Goddess of knowledge. Okay, so it says, start to apply what you already know, trust your intuition. Now I have to say something to you guys and maybe some of you are slick and maybe some of you caught it and maybe some of you have already commented about it before I've even um, uh, addressed it. But there's another card that came and I put it back in and I shuffled and I pulled a different card for you. The card that initially came was Goddess of the Earth and that showed up for Sagittarius. Uh, so I will say this, if you have Sagittarius, and you are, um, you know, watching because because Capricorn happens to be your moon or rising. Or if you're a Capricorn and Sagittarius is in your moon or in your rising, you really need to pay attention to the card. But I wanted to get a different message for each zodiac sign. So I put it back and I pulled a different card. You guys have goddess of knowledge. So this one is saying start to apply what you already know. Trust your intuition. I feel like what this card is saying is you are in fear this week about the unknown and you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself and you are forgetting about all of the things you've overcome. Capricorn, you're forgetting what a badass you are. You're forgetting that you have made it through difficult situations. You're forgetting what you bring to the table. And so I feel like you're being asked to go over your life and remind yourself of the things that you've accomplished that other people haven't been able to accomplish. Remind yourself of what you've been able to do that other people haven't been able to do. Um, I kind of feel Capricorn, some of you are actually in a very competitive field or competitive line of work. And you may have friends that went to school for this with you and they didn't make it or they didn't get to be in the level where you are or in the company that you are. And you might be within that level or within that company comparing yourself to others or wanting more recognition and feeling like, you know, you're nothing, you know, but you're forgetting how far you've come and you're forgetting what a good job you've been doing. You're not giving yourself enough credit, okay? Uh, another thing too with the goddess of knowledge here to start to apply what you already know and to trust your intuition uh, don't put too much pressure on yourself right now to try to force some magical spiritual experience or epiphany um, and be in your face and, 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 and understand that the signs that you have been given right now, you're being asked to process those, you know, don't dismiss them and wait for the next one, you know. Oh, I saw an angel number. Okay, well, give, give me another one. Give me another one. Give me another one. You know, like like process what you've received. Process it. Apply it. Think about it. Um, I also think it might be a good time for you, Capricorn, to study. Study something new. You know that you want to go in a different direction. You know that you have certain skills that you can use in a different way. Start doing the research on how you can make that happen, how you can make a career change happen, or how you can start a business or a project with the skills that you have or what you've already done, or, you know, something that interests you. Begin learning about something new. This will also bring a sense of fulfillment, my dears, okay? Um, watch your moon sign and rising sign videos. Some weeks those can resonate more than others or bring you a little extra information, uh, check out the channeled messages for December. Those are up. The one for Capricorn was, wow, it, it was intense. And uh, I, I will give a word of disclaimer. There was some tough love that came in with spirit from there. And I think a couple of people were offended and upset. But overall, the majority of people seemed to really appreciate it. And they felt very comforted by it. But I feel some of you maybe have been missing... Uh, some of the messages from spirit and I think that's why spirit came in so like hey listen up um, I it, and it, again it's coming from a place of love it's not coming from a, a place to be mean but I will give you that heads up uh, about the Capricorn channeled message for December the loved videos uh, the love videos are up and the description 
has a link of that as well. And as always, if you guys like the cards I was using, I have a link in the description if you want to check that out. If you guys are fellow, I sounded Canadian for a second there. I said, ooh, <laughs> instead of out. If you all are fellow card collectors like me, uh, you can check those out as well. All right, my dears, have a fabulous week. Take care.